What's up everybody, it's Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com and today we will be going over the first, the most important and the most crucial secret of beat making. <laughs> What's up everybody, it's Concrete Zebra from Craftmaster Productions, Studio1Tutorials.com. Today is the first video, the first step, and the first installment of the secrets of beat making. It's gonna be a new tab that I have up on the site and basically what this series is going to focus on is just um, really obvious things um, or things that should be obvious that have kind of got lost in this new era that we are with the technology okay so the first secret of beat making that i'm going to give out right now is you have to be disciplined all right the first secret of this of beat making is discipline 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 now kanye had that line uh, what you know about doing five beats a day for the for or five beats a day for three summers? And I remember that used to be a big topic of discussion where you know um, people would be like, "There's no way he did five beats a day for three summers." And where that came from is you know the weirdos who were saying the silly shit like that didn't have no discipline. Okay, they couldn't possibly imagine somebody being so dedicated to something that they could produce at a level like that. So it is absolutely 100 um, percent not a hard thing to do five beats a day. It's not a hard thing to do a beat a day. It's just a matter of what your expectations are. So what I'm going to do is I'm issuing a challenge. We're going to call this the discipline challenge. And before, before I'm going to give you an example of it so you guys don't think I'm crazy so I can show you that you could do this. Uh, personal caveat, when I was learning um, how to produce and doing the tutorial grind before there was even a lot of tutorials out or anything like that and just reading all the books I could and everything, my exercise um, every day was I would go and I would go be a construction worker. Like literally, I was a construction worker and I would, I would work my ass off, you know, wake up at 530 in the morning. Go have to be to work at at seven. Get yelled at all day by some old man that I'm not doing enough. Come home, be home at like you know work my eight hour day. Get done at three thirty. Sweating, messing up my car. Come home, take a shower, the fastest shower possible. Boom, 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 boom. Then once I got out of the shower, I would look at I would look at my watch and I say, okay, it's four thirty right now. I'm gonna be asleep by eleven. That gives me that gives me six hours if I take away the time it's gonna eat to dinner to produce. And then I would start being efficient with my time. Okay, so I became obsessed with this. So I was like, all right, I gotta be able to do two beats a night because I knew that I wasn't gonna be a good producer until I made a hundred beats. So I got obsessed with that number. Like, how do I make a hundred beats? I need to make a hundred complete beats because I need to learn arrangement. I need to learn drum fills. I need to learn X, Y, and Z. And the only way I'm going to do this is by, is by making these hundred beats. You know what I mean? So the way that I would do it is I would get home, take that fast shower, sit at the computer with my towel still around my waist. I wouldn't even get dressed for the first beat and just boom, start on the first beat. Da, 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 da. You know, by the time the second beat was done, like I had mostly air dried or the first beat was done, I mostly air dried, dry myself off, put on clothes. You know, my girl would come home. Hey, what are you doing? I'm making beats, leave me alone, blah, 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 you know, and then start working on the second beat. And I was, I was obsessed um, because that was my discipline. So, but the thing is, if you're not already doing that right now, we need to we need to get you in a place to where this shit doesn't seem so crazy to you. All right. Because because straight up, um, you know, this the Studio One community. It's a it's a smaller community than any other community. And the only way 
that you know that that, that we're going to be able to big ourselves up is just by making the best music you know what i'm saying and showing people the power of this dog but if you don't got no discipline you can't be a part of that journey with us you know what i'm saying so it it's it, it's time this is this is it like i'm i'm challenging all of you guys who i'm helping out to turn the fuck up you know what i'm saying and and let's get busy so here's the challenge i want you guys to make one beat a day for five days in a row and i'm going to tell you the value of this right you're going to make a beat a day for f for five days a row now you can sit here and you can already like start with the pussy shit like oh but i'm not good at arranging or my melodies aren't good or what about the chords like you need to get all that shit out of your head right now all right, because this exercise, whatever your weak point is in your game, this is what's going to make it strong. Because in music, the only way that you get better at something that you fucking suck at is by doing it a lot, right? So if you start out playing guitar and you suck at guitar, then you play guitar for two years. And then in two years, you, you're, you know, you're half-assed decent enough to where maybe you could join a band. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why people get in front of a, a computer, you know what I'm saying, and think that this thing is going to do the work for you. You know what I'm saying? Like a DAW does a lot of work for you, but all it's going to do is play the notes. You still got to write the music. That's that's what we're training you in right now is getting you to be able to write music at a proficient level so that you can duplicate the quality of your creativity at a reliable pace and do it at a high pace because I get so frustrated when I see discussions about this where people equate qu equate qu um, quality to quantity. Like you can't have both. You absolutely can have both. It is absolutely possible. So here's what. So here's what I want you guys to do every day, starting from the day that you hear this tutorial. Put yourself on the clock for the next five days you're gonna make a beat and when i mean a beat we're gonna be we're gonna be working um with with one certain format right so what you're gonna do is you're gonna make an intro you're gonna make a hook you're gonna make a verse a a verse b and a verse c all those sections are gonna are gonna be eight bar sections right the hook is gonna be repeated and that's eight bars in in whatever tempo you pick um, in the doll, my drums are going to be half time because you know because I do trap. So that's that's what that is. And if you're confused about any of those concepts, go to studio one tutorials .com, beginners and just brush up on that before you start this challenge. Now, you again, intro, hook, verse A, verse B, and verse C. That's five parts. Okay. If you can, if 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 you can do that. You can make you can make a song every day. That's all you got to think about. You got to you got to break this down into the smallest possible steps. Now, the uh, in order to do this, you know, in order to do this and, and to not discourage you, I want to simplify it. Just use an 808. Pick your favorite drums. Don't fucking change the drum samples every song. OK, let's take the. Let's take the the kind of the kind of foo foo art out of it for a second, and let's just get down to efficiency and discipline. Pick your favorite, pick your favorite hi hat, your favorite snare, your favorite kick, your favorite eight oh eight, and let's use them on five beats. You know what I'm saying? Then pick your favorite your favorite plugin, whatever is the easiest thing for you to write in. Um, for me, Nexus Arena Ambiance. I'm always gonna be able to create a melody with with the Arena Ambiance. Um, patch on i know that i'm always going to be able to work that that's fine the next thing that you're going to want to do is pick a scale something something that you know i'm going to use e natural minor set this template up right and this is going to be your template and then this is how i want you to work for the five days in a, for the five days in a row you're just going to start okay and this is what you're going to do you know you're going to come down here and we're just going to take eighth notes starting on e duplicate them out for a bar and if for example if you're like i can't make melodies turn your scale quantize on jump out eight notes and just start putting them just start just start putting them random okay just trust me it's the you know it's just a doll the world's not going to fall apart if you have a random melody you know what i mean so let's just let i don't know let's just see what this sounds like maybe i could use it maybe i can't 
Okay, boom. I can use that. So I'm gonna. I'm. I'm not gonna think about it too much. I got a melody. Cause remember, we're we're thinking about efficiency, and we're just trying to pump out volume right now. Okay, boom. Now I'm gonna take my snare pattern. I know that my snares go on my threes, and I'm just gonna hit this. I'm gonna hit this. Press D. Duplicate that out. Okay, cool. Not gonna sit there and fall in love with the snares. Now I'm gonna just make a drum pattern real quick. Let's see what that does. All right, cool. Now I'm gonna take the hi-hat pattern and we'll just do some eighth notes real quick. Nothing crazy. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to take the kick and I'm going to copy it up to the 808, set it to the key of E. And then I'm just going to vary these notes here. Okay, boom. So if melody, uh, you have trouble with melody, you just take all of the confusion out of it. You put the scale quantize on, you do something random. If it sounds okay, you keep going. You know, you, you're not trying to make the perfect song here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and double this up and I'm going to merge those events. So now I have my eight bar section here, right? So boom, that is to make my intro. All I'm going to do is take my drums out, right? Now I got my intro. Not going to not gonna listen to it, overanalyze it, nothing like that. I'm going to call that my hook. All right, so that's eight bars there, eight bars there. Let's go ahead and turn the arranger on, right? And let's call this, let's go ahead and shorten this up. And we'll left click on it. Okay, that's the intro, perfect. Oh, shoot. Then let's go ahead and do this section. This is obviously the hook. I'll just do this right here. Now we need a verse A, a verse B, and a verse C. And this is really going, this is really, this simple task right here is gonna help you step your arrangement game up so much if you're having trouble with that. So, you know, that in order to arrange a good verse, you can't go, um, you can't go four eight bars without changing it. And if you and if you didn't know that, you know it now. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, when we're when we're creating this part and when you're doing this challenge, what what you want to focus on is just making verse a, verse a verse b and verse c subtly different from each other. You want to focus on you want to focus on changing energy. Um, just by just by using the drums, okay. And what this is gonna do is just by using the drums and not having different melodic parts, you're gonna see how easy it is to, you know, um, how powerful it is rather to use the drums as a tool of creating variation in your music and 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 not overcrowding it with a whole bunch of melodies and lead lines and stuff like that. So for verse A, I'm gonna take the hi-hats out and I'm going to not use the snare for half of it. Then for, for verse B, I'm going to have, let's see, I'm gonna have a drop for that last bar. And I'm gonna, I'll bring the hi-hat back in and then I'll have a drop for that last bar. Um, and yeah, we won't get too crazy there. And then for this guy right here, we'll take the hi-hat pattern, right? But what we'll do is we'll time stretch it so that it goes slower. So instead of, instead of this pattern, we'll have this one. So we just changed the hi-hats in it, right? Now what we'll go ahead and do is we'll just, 
we'll just go ahead and let's see highlight these press D highlight these press D Oop. let's go ahead and drag those over and now without without even thinking about it without even without even proof without even listening to this shit i have created and arranged a full song um is it a classic hip-hop record no but what i'm do but the whole point of this exercise is by doing this and and trying to do it quickly and efficiently what you're going to do is you're going to build up a habit of one of sitting down at the computer and creating every single day and two creating a finished product every day we're not doing we're not doing skeletons anymore we're not doing we're not doing half beats anymore every time you sit down at the computer you finish the shit you're working on you know what i mean that's the only way you're going to get better is if is if you keep pumping out these beats so when you go listen to it now you can hear the variation just by using drums All right, so you can see that even though that is a super simplistic, basic ass beat, what you can the the thing that you could pick up is there is there is definitely substantial and noticeable differences in energy. And the whole point of doing this discipline exercise is to build a habit. Did you know if you do something every day for two weeks, it becomes a habit? So imagine if you if your habit was to produce, like your habit is to smoke cigarettes, or your habit is to bite your nails, or your habit is to make your bed. You know what I mean? That's the point you want to get to is where this is just this is just an insane habit, something that you gotta do. And um, if you can do this for five days, that's going to open the door to the real challenge because the real challenge is to do it for 10. The real challenge is go for two weeks, build yourself a habit of making a beat like this. And what's going to happen? What's going to happen on because you see this, this, this shit took me minutes and you're going to get to the point where it takes you minutes, too. And what you're going to start to understand about the way that I work and the way that other successful people work is that you start out with this, right? Okay, so I've made this. I I, I made the song. Now, um, I could do one or two things. I could stop or I could make this song better. So I could go ahead and say, okay, you know what? I... I think the intro could use could use a little bit more spice. So maybe I'll bounce this down and I'll reverse this piano and um, maybe I'll do maybe I'll do a kick roll into into this section right here. So maybe maybe the intro sound like this.
and then maybe um you know maybe maybe for this part i won't have the hi-hats in the second half of this verse and then maybe maybe for the third part of this verse i'll do i'll do like a four on the floor kick for the second bar you know and add add even more variation to the drums okay and then then once you see like oh, okay so now once i get you know once i get the big picture out of the way now i could just go in and make all the fine edits and i don't have the pressure of where does everything else go you know what i'm saying and that's 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 why it's important to do this for the 5, 10, 15, 20 days and just work like this all the time. Because if you can get used to working in, in this flow, everything's just going to fall into place. You know, I get a lot of questions about like, you know, how many instruments should I have on my track or um, when do I know if it's complete? Dot, 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 dot. You guys that are asking me that shit, do this challenge. <laughs> 